Money, attention, fame, luxury are some of the words that come to our mind when we think about celebrities. Singing a song that'll reach millions of people, play a character everyone will fall in love with, or win a championship by being the best player on the floor. We might think about them as people who can have everything they want, and sometimes even anyone. Everyone wants a picture with you. Your name is all over the city in the internet. People aspire to be just like you. Companies want you to be the face of their new product. Sounds like that's the dream, right? And so like thousands of people showed up at the airport to, and it was like, because we, we got a message before we landed where they were like, there's a hundred security guards um, have been, uh, are on staff for your landing. And we're like, that seems a bit much, that's crazy. And then we landed and it was like, oh no, this is not enough. <laughs> like this is, wow. there were highly trained security guards being pushed around by like six, six year old girls to eight year old women, <laughs> just like. When people say, oh, I want to be like you, I want to be an actor, I want to look like you, the question I always ask them is why? Like, really, why? And people, and especially in America, this idea of fame, that to be famous means that you're successful, that you've, you're happy. When you have all this stuff, it doesn't mean you're happy. Right. You know, I, I can speak for myself. I, I... Why is it then that on a lot of occasions, it seems as if they're the building of their own lives? Why do we hear these horror stories of abuse, depression, and even more? Have you seen an article or post about a celebrity suffering or disconnecting themselves from the media and wondered why they would do that? They have everything they want. They should be happy. What's wrong with them? If I was them, I would be great. These are some examples of what people think, and maybe some of us have thought that at one point in our lives. The question is, how can someone apparently having so much can still struggle like any of us? What causes the frustration and problems? I'm Hale, and I'm here to present to you two factors that affect celebrities to a point that can cause serious problems to some, and how maybe we are part of a problem. Fame is considered a phenomenon, derived by mass society, typically urban, where individuals are glorified for their deeds. Examples are Martin Luther King, Albert Einstein, Bill Gates, and so many more. Celebrities, in contrast, are considered a modern phenomenon related to mass media, brought by magazine, television, or the internet, where they are usually involved in art forms such as cinema or music, but they can extend to any area like sports, politics, and more. A very interesting quote by director John Waters hits a lot of people. Most everybody secretly imagines themselves in a show business and every day on their way to work. They're a little bit depressed because they're not. People are sad they're not famous in America. To those that have become famous, how does it feel like? What happens next? A study managed to contact 15 celebrities from the US of different mediums and identified four phases of becoming famous through interviews with them. The first phase of love and hate is understanding the situation and seeking ways of acclimating to being famous. There are things that they hate, but others that are pretty enjoyable. The second phase explains that being glorified is highly addictive. It increases the person's ego, and it puts a fear on the celebrity of losing fame. This starts to seek ways of keeping their fame for as long as possible. The third phase of acceptance is that when attention becomes overwhelming, along with expectations created, the celebrity resolves to accept fame with all its threats. The last phase of adaptation is that after accepting all the cons that come with fame, the celebrity starts to develop patterns to cope with all of this. On this video, we will dive deeper into this phase because it is by far the most interesting one. Adapting to fame is a real challenge that some people handle better than others. There isn't a manual on how to really deal with it. Remember that celebrities are people just like us. 
that even though they have been put on the spotlight, that doesn't make them any better on how to handle life and all its difficulties. When a celebrity reaches the adaptation phase, a lot of them often feel like a thing, rather than a person. There are a lot of fans that really don't care about the celebrity as a person, but rather what they achieve or do for them. As soon as someone becomes famous, relationships with others and even themselves are deeply affected. The study found that during the adaptation phase, the famous seek to discern the true intentions of others. This can lead to mistrust and confusement as well as isolation. Did you say you felt very lonely in your boxing career? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why I always, um, after I finished running, I would go to some girl's house. Right. You feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you and you're in your bubble and, and I wish I had someone at that time who who could just pull me aside and hey it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay in other cases celebrities tend to create a new self-presentation to the public where it allows them to present to the public only what they want while keeping their personal true self hidden in a trusted inner circle of people imagine going outside and having everyone looking out for every step you take. Celebrities often feel as they described as a sea of eyes, as well as feeling locked in a bubble that's owned by the public. The public pays the bills and so they feel like they are the boss. The phrase, I paid for you, I made you who you are, it's such a cliche at this point, but yet you can find people saying this every single day. The public feels that they own the celebrity, that Without them, they wouldn't have a job, or even a life. The most recent example is of a popular Japanese VTuber of the name Ruxia, where a lot of her fans got mad and tried to cancel her simply because there were rumors of her having a boyfriend. This kind of behavior might seem ridiculous to you or to other people, but it's the everyday life of people that have to deal with some kind of fame or recognition. Celebrities have their own personal problems, just like any of us, but they often experience two factors that are constantly putting pressure on them. These factors are celebrity worship and mainstream media. <laughs> celebrities are hardly ever told no, which can lead to self-centered orientation. And when the public provides positive feedback, no matter what they do, this makes the matter even worse. But have you wondered why are so many people cheering for their favorite celebrities all the time? Why are there some fans that are willing to go to extreme lengths in order to support their idols? How dangerous can this behavior even be? Celebrity worship syndrome is something more common than you may think. This uh, syndrome is an obsessive behavior where the person is virtually obsessed with celebrities. It is conformed by three levels. Entertainment social is where people find it fun to follow their favorite stars and to talk about them with friends. It's pretty inoffensive. Entertainment social is where people have intense feelings towards celebrities, believing that they are their soulmate. This is linked to people with poor mental health and are usually tense and moody. The last level, borderline pathological, is the most dangerous one possible. The people on this level have extreme thoughts of and fantasies regarding celebrities and are even willing to spend thousands of dollars just to get some type of recognition from them, no matter how minimal this can be. This behavior can even lead to real-life stalking and even more serious things in extreme cases. People on this level have some kind of psychotism traits, like being impulsive, antisocial, or egocentric. The point to make here is that people with this syndrome are constantly checking every move their stars make. If a negative situation happens, they get mad. If something positive happens to the celebrity, they feel happy as well. In some cases, you might have seen people telling celebrities what to do, trying to control them so they can act exactly how they expect. Some people do this with actually good intentions of helping, while others are actually influenced by this syndrome. This syndrome usually presents itself to teenagers as they're trying to find their own identity. But those individuals that usually have some sort of family problem that are past their teens tend to fulfill their identity by becoming absorbed with a celebrity. In another study in the United Kingdom, 36% of the respondents presented one of the three levels of the celebrity worship syndrome. 
they found that worshippers' needs for achievement and life goal pursuit are passed down to their celebrities, as well as feeling personally connected to them. Remember that the desire for relationships is the key motivating force in human behavior. This is exactly why you see so much outrage towards celebrities from their quote-unquote fans whenever they do something wrong or are falsely incriminated of doing so. It's sad to say that celebrities don't have the right to joke due to their position of power and influence. As we saw, some people believe and do everything their stars say, so they have to be very careful when choosing their words. This behavior is only fueled by the mainstream media coverage of famous people, where a study found that the term yellow journalism is being heavily applied in this field. Yellow journalism is used for careless and ostentatious paper detailing regardless if the information written is real or not. The media reports information that can be distorted or disguised. Sometimes, there might be no reality at all to the story. Um, if we translate this to the internet, it's what we know as clickbait. Although news reporting allows people to know what's happening in the world, when the news are regarding celebrities, they are constantly trying to put a story that turns heads to their site. Examples are fake news of a sudden death of a celebrity, myths about their personal life and relationships, or comments what they wear or even drink or eat. Depending on how big the celebrity is, mundane tasks like going for a coffee or walking on the street are going to be of huge value to the media. We've all known the word paparazzi, which is an Italian word used to describe journalists that take pictures of celebrities. They sell these pictures to magazines, papers, or some other organization. A common mistake is believing that paparazzi are the ones who publish the pictures. This is a job to usually a columnist or editor. They are the ones that describe the context of the provided images. The scenes of a massive horde of photographers hustling down the street, waiting for a moment where they can take a picture of a celebrity is an everyday thing now, where these situations can display very oppressive behavior and even terrorizing to the celebrities. An interesting fact though is that with the advances of technology, anyone can really become a paparazzo. This has lowered the skill of the photographers to the point that they're willing to get to extremely close uh, and even personal to celebrities just for the best shot. Try to imagine the pressure a celebrity has to endure when going out, knowing that if you don't look good enough, or maybe to do something that people won't like, you'll receive a massive backlash from the world. For some celebrities, the concern with paparazzi harassment might not be involved by a fear of physical or psychological injury, but by an imperative desire to retain control of their own representation to society. When social media wasn't a thing, paparazzos could earn $5,000 to $15,000 from simple pictures of celebrities doing everyday tasks. This happened during the era known as the Golden Rush, where pictures of celebrities being depicted as everyday humans became massively popular. Since the 2010s, and with the widespread use of social media, being a paparazzi is no longer viable, and the paychecks for these pictures don't go over the $10 unless it's a shot that provides a huge headline. The issue is that now any person is able to take a picture or video about a celebrity and post it everywhere. Being in a position of fame and power is something very few can possess. It provides huge amounts of money, attention, power and luxury. But nothing in this life comes for free. The point of this was to show a light on why even though they seem to have it all, a lot of celebrities suffer from mental or family problems. Their lives is constantly being pressured by the media and the fans that can't get enough of them. Worshippers that are willing to do anything and media that's willing to go anywhere can become very tiring to the pass of time for the famous. Remember that, at the end of the day, they're just people, just like us. <laughs>